All right, there we go. Good evening, guys. How are you? Hello, hello, guys. Sorry I'm late, guys. I was, uh, I got a little delay. I was doing something, so I apologize for the delay. How are you doing today? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Or Good evening, am I muted? Chair. How there are you? Go. Hi, Sta. Mr. Hello. Hello. How are you? Gilbert? How, How are you doing, you? guys? I'm I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. It's it's just um really hot, and I don't like it when it's hot. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like it. It's really hot today, guys. Yes, it's really really hot. Wow. <laughs> Yes, I agree 55, with you. 55. Like 35 or degrees. Yep. You, how are you doing with your flu? I'm doing better. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking. Oh, yeah, yeah, I actually... Better. Okay, <laughs> yes. I like it. Thank you, Mr. Ramirez, yes. Actually, <laughs> I thought that I was going to... Uh, I thought that it was going to be harder uh, for me to get better, but... I'm really surprised because I'm really good. I'm doing really good. So I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> sí, de verdad, guys, que me sorprende porque eh, casi no me he cuidado estos días, eh, así como otras ocasiones que eh, tomo pastillas o algo para eh, curarme. Esta vez me siento bastante bien, así que me sorprendo hasta yo mismo. Pero es que son mi... virales, virales. Es, son ahí como pasajeritas porque así hemos estado por aquí, pero Ajá. de repente así como llegó, así desapareció. Correcto. <ríe> sí, qué bueno. Bueno, eh, muchas gracias, guys, por estar otra vez acá. Ahorita estamos ocho. Algunos estaban comentando por allí que van en camino. A, a, están todavía viajando, dicen por acá. Vamos a ver. Sobre un problema, eh, no podré recibir la clase. Uh, ok. Okay, no problem. Okay, that's fine. Okay. It seems like everybody is busy today. Oh my goodness. Well, how about you guys? How was your day? Uh, are you having a good day? What did you guys do today? Just work or did you do something interesting today? Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello, Fernando. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Fernando, how about you? Did you go to work today? Uh, no, no. Was my day off. Ah, this, today. This, okay. Yeah, this week, uh, I had two day off. I see. Yesterday okay. and today. Yeah. Very good. But uh, I'm feeling no good because of some flu. Oh, I see. So you have the flu. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, that's too bad. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Well, but thank my, you for my day was my day was good because uh, I went with my wife to visit a restaurant here in the Oh, okay. really? <clears throat> nice. Yeah. So, so you guys had a date today? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Thank you. Okay, very good, Fernando. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, uh, so you had yesterday and today. You had off. You were off from work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Fernando. Qué bien. Este es bonito tener de descanso así entre semana a veces. Y a veces también tiene su lado negativo, verdad? Ya les he contado que el fin de semana, pues, tampoco es muy placentero trabajar a veces. Así que, pero qué bien. ¿Y ¿Qué tal los demás? ¿Cómo han estado? Cuéntenme. Así como Fernando. Hey, teacher, mm -hmm. my day was great because uh, we have 40 children in our classroom mm -hmm. um, all the day. It's very uh, happiness to have these children with us because it's our job. And I feel happy. I feel happy. Very good. With all, with all this child, oh, wow! I see. Okay, it's, very. It's, good. it's very hard. It's very hard. It's, it's very hard mm -hmm. working with 
with them. I can imagine. Yeah, sí. yeah, yeah, yeah teacher. Pero ya pasó, ya pasó el día. Y mañana es mi day off. Oh, muy bien, muy bien, Mr. Ramírez. Muy teacher, bien, ya. Yeah. I, I, I think, uh -huh. I think we are shy in this class. I can imagine, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think that that is what happens. Yes, I agree. I, I agree. And that's fine. I mean, at first, I think that we are shy because we are afraid that we can make mistakes, but you don't have to be afraid because, I mean, everybody makes mistakes, so you don't have to be afraid. Así que muy bien a los que participamos, pues muy bien, ¿verdad? De eso se trata. Este, si tenemos alguna cosa que no la decimos bien, pues simplemente seguir y tratar de corregirlo. Adelante, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Eh, dice Stephanie, está de oyente. Ok. Ok, muy bien. Ok, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that, uh, Stephanie, and I hope your sound can feel better. Muy bien. Yeah, so Mr. Ramirez was saying that uh, today he had many children with him. Because he teaches, he's, he's a he's a teacher, so very good. But it's really hard, yes, I can imagine. Because children can be really energetic, uh, they can be rebellious sometimes, so it's, it's hard, I can imagine. I can only imagine. Así que bueno, muy bien, guys. Muchas gracias por compartir con la clase. Y sigamos participando, ¿verdad? Ustedes cualquier cosa que quieran decir, pues no tengan pena. Aquí para eso estamos, para compartir. Bueno, este, ya, guys, eh, casi se nos termina la semana. Solamente tenemos la clase de ahora y la de mañana. Y luego, pues, vamos a descansar otra vez. Para esta semana, eh, como les dije, teníamos que completar la sección 3 y también teníamos que completar el examen ese que se llama Midterm, que está en la plataforma, ¿ok? Entonces, nosotros el día de ayer estuvimos viendo, completamos como el tema ese de las comparaciones, ¿verdad? Ayer estábamos hablando de comparaciones. Eh, teníamos comparaciones con nombres y comparaciones con adjetivos, ¿ok? Entonces, ustedes practicaron un poquito. Eh, lamentablemente no fue mucho tiempo, quizás como debería de ser. Entonces, tal vez ahora podamos practicar otra vez. Eh, si, si ustedes gustan, pueden practicar de lo que, pas lo que vimos ayer y también pueden practicar de lo que nosotros vamos a ver el día de hoy para que puedan, o sea, practicar tanto como sea posible. Así que no sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta ahora acerca de lo que hemos eh, estado viendo. El día de ayer creo que tal vez habían algunas dudas por allí. Eh, yo los estaba escuchando y con los que yo pude hablar, pues les di algunos pequeños consejos acerca de qué cosas podemos cambiar, qué cosas podemos mejorar. Entonces no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. ¿Alguna pregunta, guys? No questions, ok. All right, so today, guys, we're going to be working on a new topic. We have a new topic for today. Le puede compartir por aquí la pantalla. Vamos a ver. Okay, just bear with me. Vaya, ayer nos quedamos hasta acá, porque vimos este video. En este video, eh, nosotros hicimos la actividad que se proponía al final, la cual era eh, hablar acerca de comparaciones, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, como las que están acá, este es el knowledge check que corresponde a eso. Okay, so we have uh, here, we have four items. Okay, we have number one, number two, number three, and number four. Uh, so the first one, it says, which is correct. Okay, and we have three options right here. So you guys just have to choose the right option. Okay, básicamente esta parte corresponde a la comparación, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué es lo que decíamos ayer? Eh, era una comparación básicamente entre dos cosas. Eh, pueden ser cosas, pueden ser personas, eh, pueden ser también animales. Porque algunos, por ejemplo, querían hablar acerca de sus mascotas. Otros querían hablar de, bueno, de personas. Pero esta parte aquí está enfocada principalmente a cosas, a casas, principalmente. Entonces dice, in my opinion, houses are, ¿ok? Y después teníamos, eh, teníamos que utilizar la estructura correcta, que era houses are as expensive as apartments. ¿Okay? Entonces la, la, la respuesta correcta sería la número 3. ¿Correcto? Porque tenemos el yes, sujeto. Yes, yes, number three. Muy bien, muy bien. Mr. Ramirez, thank you. 
Okay, so which one is the right answer? Mr. Ramirez, uh, could you please uh, read it for us, for the class? Number three, right? Can you please read that sentence for us? Yes, number three. Mm -hmm. So what does it say? Can you please read it for the class? This one right here. What does it say? Can you see it? Yes, I can see. Okay. What do you want, teacher? Uh, could you please read the sentence for us? Okay. I can do it. Okay, very good. Thank you. In my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighbor neighborhood. Very good. Thank you. That is correct. Very good. I appreciate that. Okay, there we go. So then we have number two. It says my neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house. Y aquí tenemos que completarlo, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos tres opciones, guys. ¿Cuál es la opción correcta? Isn't has a B as his. Very good. That is correct. My house isn't as big as his. Right. Isn't as big as his. Very good. There we go. Then we have number three. It says, I don't like to live in apartments because they, and we have three options, don't have as many rooms as houses, don't have many rooms as houses, and then don't have as much rooms as houses. Uh, maybe it's uh, don't have many rooms as houses. So number two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Antonio. Thank you so much. What about the rest? What do you guys think? Number two? Or do you think that it is a different option? I know it's number one. Number one, don't okay. Have as many rooms as houses. Okay, muy bien. Es correcto. Tiene, tiene razón. Eh, sería el número uno, guys. Porque la, para que esté como la estructura de la comparación, tiene que tener as many rooms as houses, ¿verdad? Tiene que tenerlo, eh, básicamente el nombre tiene que estar, en este caso son los cuartos, tiene que estar, eh, denme un momento, guys, eh, just one moment. Ahí está. Eh, perdón, guys. I'm sorry about that. Entonces, eh, para que tenga la estructura correcta, el, en este caso el nombre tiene que estar en medio de estas dos pa pequeñas palabras, ¿verdad? Sería as many rooms as houses. That is the correct structure. So then we have number four. And that's the, the last one here. It says my new house doesn't have a space as my old house. So what is missing here, right? Uh, I'm sorry, what is missing here, guys? Uh, we need to fill in what is missing here, okay? So what do you think that is missing to this sentence? It says, my new house doesn't have a space Enough. as my old house. Enough? David? As much. Yes, enough. Enough, okay. Suena bastante bien, la verdad, eh, decir enough. Por ahí escuché que alguien dijo también as much. ¿Qué piensan? Vamos a ver. Carmen creo que dijo as much. David dice enough, ¿ok? Uh, just as. Just as. Ajá, ok, pero nos haría falta algo. Porque estamos hablando acerca del espacio, ¿verdad? Entonces, el espacio es un nombre que no es contable, ¿verdad? El, 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 es eh, algo que no podemos contar. Entonces, aquí estamos haciendo comparación, David. Estamos comparando. As much. Ok, sería as much. As es much. correcto. As es much. correcto. Correcto, así sería. Porque básicamente lo que estamos haciendo es comparando, ¿verdad? Mi nueva casa y mi casa antigua. Ok, eso es lo que dice acá. My new house. And then we have my old house. 
Entonces, eh, creo que la forma más apropiada sería My new house doesn't have as much space as my old house. ¿Ok? Así que así sería. Bueno, lo vamos a subir acá. Okay. Eh, ya, ya les queda por aquí, guys, eh, las respuestas. Por si no lo habían hecho, creo que tal vez algunos ya, ya lo, lo hayan... Eh, tal vez ya okay. lo han completado. Así que eh, ahí estaría. I, did, I didn't do that. You didn't do that. Okay. Very good. Fernando, so there you <laughs> Thank go. Thank you for answer. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yes, I know that you guys are busy, that you guys are busy people, so I, I want to help you with that. Okay, so ahí yeah, tenemos... I, I, I... Uh -huh. I didn't do that. That's answer number four. Oh, I see. So you didn't did, did... I didn't know. I you didn't know yeah. that. Okay. Well, there you yeah. go. But well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Otra cosa importante, guys. Digamos de que, por ejemplo, ustedes ya lo completaron y digamos eh, se equivocaron en una. Ustedes pueden volverlo a hacer y lo pueden hacer bien eh, la segunda vez, por ejemplo, para que les tome una nota más alta. Lo pueden hacer. Solamente les quería decir, eh, tal vez para los que no lo sabían, eh, tal vez algunos ya lo sabíamos, pero para los que no, eh, correcto. Aquí, Rolmes, eh, Lázaro, as much. Very good. That is correct. Entonces, ahí está. Ahí están las respuestas para esto, guys. Vaya. Eh... Ok, no sé si eh, estamos bien con esta parte. ¿Podemos continuar? ¿O tienen una pregunta? ¿O quieren que se las ponga otra vez? Las respuestas. Estamos bien. Eh, ok, Stephanie tiene problemas. Bueno, ya vamos a ir viendo eh, cualquier problema que ustedes tengan. Lo vamos a ir resolviendo, ok. Bueno, vamos a continuar entonces. Ok, so then we have the next topic, guys. Uh, this is going to be the new topic for today. Uh, we are going to learn how to express wishes. Ok, that is going to be the topic that we are going to learn right now. So we have the objective for the for the lesson. Okay, we have this one right here. So I would like for somebody to help me so you can read uh, this paragraph, okay? I want you guys to read. I want you guys to help me. Okay, vamos a ver. ¿Quién me puede ayudar a leer una parte? Lo vamos a ir leyendo por pedacitos. ¿Quién puede leer esta parte de acá, la primera? ¿Puedo yo, teacher? Uh -huh. Sí, por favor, por favor. Okay. Eh, ¿Hasta dónde? Hasta this lesson. Hasta acá donde dice, ajá, hasta this, this lesson. Yes. Toda esta parte. Expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have, that you have about your personal life, current or health. Very good. Thank you so much. That is perfect, Mr. Ramirez. Thank you. Very thank good. You, you. I like it. So expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or health. Okay. Very good. Now we are going to continue with the next part. Uh, let's see. Who can help me read this part right here? Who can help me with this, guys? Can I help you? Yes, yes, sir. Please go ahead. This lesson from English teacher Joe Sand explains how to use the verb to quench in the present tenses and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live with my parents, I wish I had a different job, or I wish mm -hmm. were dinner. This lesson includes. Perdón, perdón. Eh, perdón, aquí lo siento mucho, eh, Fernando. No sé por qué Correct. abrí esto por accidente. Ahí está. This is included an oral language comp comprehension, right? Exercise. Mm -hmm. Comprehension. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you so much, Fernando. Comprehension of comprehension. Compre comprehension exercise. Compre lo voy a poner acá. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver por acá, guys. Eh, Denme un segundo. Aquí está. Com Comprehension. Vamos a ver cómo se pronuncia. Aquí está. Comprehension. Está un poco rápido, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si lo podemos hacer un poco más lento. Aquí está. 
Vamos a ponerlo lento para que lo podamos escuchar bien. Comprehension. 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 Okay. Did you did you get it? Comprehension. There we go. <laughs> it's a little difficult to pronounce, but yes. Okay. So we have it says this lesson from English teacher Joe Sands explains how to use the verb to wish. Okay. So that is the verb that we are going to be working on today in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job or I wish I were thinner. Okay, so, bueno, vamos a, eh, vamos a empezar este tema, guys, que es acerca de expresar deseos, acerca de cosas eh, en el presente, okay? Tenemos diferentes formas de expresar deseos. Podemos expresar las cosas, eh, deseos, perdón, acerca de cosas que nosotros quisiéramos que sucedieran en el pasado, en el futuro, o cosas que nosotros hubiésemos querido que sucedieran en el pasado. Eh, entonces, ahorita nosotros nos vamos a enfocar en cómo expresar deseos eh, de cosas que nos gustaría que nos pasaran en el presente, ¿ok? Eh, vamos a ver por acá, déjenme ver. Les voy a compartir algo. Vamos a ver. Just a moment, guys. Okay, so we have here uh, this little presentation, guys. So uh, how can we do this? Okay, how can we express wishes about present situations? Okay, so you can use wish. That is the verb that we are going to use for that. Okay, wish. Plus the past simple of the verb, okay, to show that you are not satisfied with a situation in the present. Okay, so the past tense is used to show that you wish uh, that what you wish is not real. Okay, it's the opposite of the real situation. Vaya, entonces acá, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Básicamente, digamos, vamos a pensar en una situación que es real. Y nosotros vamos a decir, bueno, yo quisiera que esto no fuera así. Por ejemplo, eh, tenemos acá, entre paréntesis dice, I don't have much time at present, but I would like uh, to have some more time, okay? So since I don't have time, then uh, that is the reason why we have this sentence that says, I wish I had more time to spend with the kids, okay? Básicamente estamos diciendo, eh, yo no tengo tiempo, me gustaría tener más tiempo para poder pasar con los niños. Creo que esto no es algo que nos pasa mucho, ¿verdad? Eh, estamos ocupados y, bueno, no tenemos tiempo. Y nos gustaría tener más tiempo. Entonces, estamos expresando un deseo acerca de algo, eh, de una realidad de, del presente que quisiéramos que fuera diferente. Eh, tenemos otro ejemplo acá. Dice, eh, una persona, eh, tú estás yendo, pero yo no. ¿Ok? Entonces, a partir de esa situación en el presente, eh, tenemos esta oración acá que dice, I wish I was going on holiday to Spain with you. Okay? Me gustaría eh, o desearía ir de vacaciones a España contigo. No voy a ir, ¿ok? Entonces, la realidad es que no voy a ir. Y me gustaría que sí fuera así. Luego, por otro lado, tenemos esta de acá que dice, I wish I was taller. Or, well, in this case, it says, I wish I were taller. Eh, normalmente, guys, y esta es una parte bien interesante que ya lo vamos a ver. Este, cuando nosotros utilizamos I wish, nosotros vamos a conjugar el verbo de esta forma. Ok, sin importar si es una tercera persona o si es, por ejemplo, eh, I, como en este caso. Vamos a decir, I wish I were. Ok, I wish I were taller. Normalmente eh, nosotros con wish utilizamos was para el pasado, pero cuando utilizamos esta estructura de I wish, entonces en este caso hacemos una excepción y utilizamos were. So I wish I were taller. So that means that I'm not tall and I wish I were. Ok. Entonces, bueno, vamos a escuchar un video por acá para que eh, el, el que forma parte de la... Eh, de acá de la plataforma virtual para que ustedes puedan eh, comprenderlo con más detalle, ¿ok? 
lo vamos a escuchar y, y después vamos a irlo discutiendo. Vamos a ver la estructura, vamos a ver cómo eh, lo vamos a utilizar. Así que vamos a escucharlo. Vamos a ver. Vamos a bajarle por aquí. Hello everyone. By the end of this class you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever complement, right? Didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. Teacher, I'm sorry. I don't can hear you, teacher. We don't can hear perdón. you. <laughs> perdón, perdón. Esto, muchas gracias, guys. I forgot about it. Le un poquito más de volumen, si acaso se puede, que es... Bueno, yo escucho. Eh, mi voz o los, vi o los videos, perdón. Lo que es su voz, no sé si tiene un poquito más de volumen en su computer. De verdad. Porque bueno, yo eh... lo tengo al máximo, no sé si los demás. Pero lo tengo eh... al máximo y... 
Well, let's see. Hey, what about the rest, guys? Can you hear me okay? Or is my voice too loud? Yeah, I, I, can, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Parece que me pueden escuchar bastante bien los demás, Mr. Ramirez. Así que tal vez... Ya, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Y sí, tengo al máximo el, el sonido, pero déjenme ver si lo puedo subir un poco más, tal vez. Vamos a ver. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, it may be. It may be. So, well, so like I was saying, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. we have the structure right here. It's really easy. So we just have the first subject. In this case, I. It can be a different subject. Like, for example, we could say something like this. Uh, you can say also he. Vaya, y si tenemos he, eh, ¿cómo creen ustedes que este verbo wish lo tenemos que escribir? ¿Sería solamente wish? ¿O cómo sería acá? Wishes. Wishes. Very good. He wishes. wishes. Very good, that is correct. He... For the third viene... person. Es correcto. Muy bien. Fran, that is correct. Very good. So, he wishes, he... And then, eh, lo que les estaba comentando más temprano, cuando nosotros utilizamos la estructura esta de he wishes or I wish, nosotros vamos a utilizar, eh, en este caso, por ejemplo... El verbo to be siempre va a ser were, ok? So, he wishes he were uh, taller, for example. Entonces, él desearía eh, ser más alto, ok? Básicamente eso es lo que estamos diciendo. Entonces, eh, la situación real es que él no es alto, ok? So, he's not tall. So, sí, claro. he wishes... Uh -huh. Digan. But always, sorry, always. Eh, eh. Perdón. Vamos a ver, Frank primero y después eh, no sé quién más es que está hablando. Eh, no pude conectarme inicialmente en la clase porque eh, venía de trabajo, ¿no? Pero eh, justamente se iba a consultar por qué es where cuando en sí es tercera persona. Tendría que ser was. Correcto, sí, es eh, básicamente, como les estaba comentando, es una excepción, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando nosotros tenemos esta parte de I wish or he wishes, then we use where. Eh, acá está, dice, after which, where is used with all pronouns. That's the reason why. Ok, que, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, vamos a ver, ¿alguien más creo que quería decir algo? I'm sorry, teacher. But uh, always we have to use uh, the where. That is correct. Yes, if you have this, uh, let's say, if you have the verb to be in bold, then yes, you are going to use where. For example, here, it says, I wish it were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. As you can see, we are talking about life. So that is like a third person like something like an object but we are using were así que sí siempre guys vamos a utilizar bueno muy bien muchas gracias eh, Stephanie thank you thank you so much Stephanie and thank you uh, Fernando así que ahí está guys eh, para todos solamente recordemos que siempre que tengamos I wish si nosotros utilizamos el verbo to be va a estar eh, de esta forma, where, ok so I, I wish it were easier, or I wish I were aware perdón, es un poco uno está acostumbrado, verdad, a decir was, pero acá tenemos que olvidarnos de eso, para esto nada más I wish I were taller or I wish I were um, no sé, qué pudiéramos decir Maybe rich. I wish I were rich. Very good. Yes, that is a good example. I think that I would love that to be true. But, <laughs> okay. <laughs> bueno, ahí está, guys. Estos son ejemplos. Eh, eso les quería decir. Son pequeños como de pequeños eh, tips que a ustedes les van a ayudar. Recordemos esa parte, okay? Y acá, pues, eh, también quería comentarles. Ustedes ven el ejemplo. Dice, I wish I didn't live. Y luego tenemos otra vez live, ¿ok? Solo una vez nada más. Solamente una vez. Sería, I wish I didn't live with my parents. Entonces tenemos el sujeto, tenemos wish. Luego el sujeto que 
como les mencioné anteriormente, puede ser el mismo o puede ser otro diferente, dependiendo de a qué se refieran ustedes. Luego acá, el verbo está en el pasado. Puede ser el verbo to be o puede ser el verbo, otro verbo, cualquier otro verbo. Como en este caso, live. Puede ser eh, de forma positiva o puede ser de forma negativa, como está acá. Si es de forma negativa, vamos a utilizar el auxiliar. Did. ¿Ok? So I wish I didn't live with my parents. Easy. Vamos a ver. Entonces, solamente eso les quería como comentar. Vamos a quitar esto de acá. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Eh, vamos a despejar todo. Ahí está. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form, so therefore we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could move out. Vaya, entonces acá, guys, eh, otra pausa. Eh, ¿Qué pasa cuando nosotros tenemos verbos modales? Por ejemplo, tenemos can, tenemos eh, will. Cuando tenemos ese tipo de verbos, eh, por ejemplo, el pasado de can es could, ¿ok? Y el pasado de will es would. Así lo vamos a tomar. Would. Would, correcto. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Fran. So, eh, for example, in this case, eh, it says, my parents won't stop worrying about me. ¿Ok? So, I wish they would stop worrying about me. ¿Ok? Si se fijan, en este caso, will está en una forma... Eh, negativa y nosotros cuando lo cambiamos al pasado pues en este caso en lugar de will ponemos would ok es el pasado prácticamente así como está acá eh, dice yo no puedo eh, mudarme entonces tenemos i can't move out so i wish i could move out ok entonces acá este verbo el verbo auxiliar o el verbo modal en algunos casos es el que va a cambiar. Tenemos otro verbo a la par, pero ese otro verbo se mantiene igual. Si se fijan acá, tenemos move, permanece igual, no cambia. Solamente cambia el verbo auxiliar, el verbo modal. Igual, uh, en este caso, tenemos will not stop. Ok, or my parents won't stop worrying about me. Eh, en algunos casos, guys, eh, digamos, hay expresiones que ustedes utilizan el verbo will, no necesariamente como refiriéndose a algo del futuro. Por ejemplo, acá, eh, esta oración eh, no dice, mis, mis padres no dejarán de preocuparse, sino que básicamente es como que mis, mis padres no dejan de preocuparse acerca de mí. ¿Ok? Hay como expresiones que utilizan will, pero para el presente. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo... Eh, digamos, voy a ponerle por acá otro ejemplo so uh, perdón vamos a ver, aquí está the car will not turn on today vaya, eh, nosotros bueno, por lo general sería eh, una contracción, se lo voy a poner mejor así vaya eh, cuando nosotros decimos que algo, que una cosa will not turn on, es como que no enciende. Esa es como la expresión que se utiliza para decir que algo no enciende. ¿Ok? No nos estamos refiriendo al futuro. Eh, 
pero nosotros utilizamos will, ¿ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, eh, ya si ustedes quieren cambiar esta oración que está en el presente aquí, que es el, el carro no enciende el día de hoy, entonces dirían ustedes, I wish, por ejemplo, uh, the car uh, would turn on. Desearía que el carro encendiera. ¿Ok? Básicamente cambiamos el will not, lo cambiamos a would. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros ahí? Eh, solamente les quería eh, decir como esa aclaración de que acá eh, will no está hablando acerca del futuro, sino que solamente es una expresión. Vaya, eh, bueno, vamos a, si tienen, tienen alguna pregunta, guys, estamos bien hasta ahora, alguna inquietud, todo bien, vaya, eh, si estamos bien, entonces vamos a continuar, vamos a continuar. Move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom. After which, where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult, and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish, and the subject again, life, where, easier. Uh, and of course, you can make that in a negative statement. I wish life weren't so difficult. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. In the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop, and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes, we want to express family wishes, we want to express health wishes, we want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes do you have about your family? I wish I had two children, right? And what kind of wishes do you have about your possessions? Well, I don't have a car, so I wish I had a car. That's a, just a quick example. Um, and what kind of wishes do you have about your skills? I don't know how to program computers. I wish I knew how to program computers. And so on and so forth. So I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of wishes that you have about yourself, about your family, about your health, about your skills. I would like for you to... Okay, guys. So let's try to practice a little bit using this... Uh... Uh, this uh, 
let's say these categories, okay? For example, let's say about family, about possessions, about skills. So for example, you can say something like, I wish I could speak German, or I wish I were rich, like Fernando said. Or you can say, I wish I, I had a better job, for example, things like that. So let's try to practice. Let's say, uh, so who would like to participate? Who would like to volunteer? Uh, está Sullivan que quiere participar. Vamos a ver. Go ahead, Sullivan. Good day, everyone. Yeah. Uh, I wish. Um, I wish I had a million dollars. Very good. Yes, I. Yeah. I like that. I wish me I could. Too. <laughs> me <Yeah>. too. <laughs> and what about your bedroom, me Sullivan? Too. Uh, what did you? Uh, what would you wish about your bedroom? What can you tell us about your job? or your family. Let's try just to make some more examples, okay? Okay, okay, perfect. I wish I had a um, better job. Okay. I wish I had um, uh, luxury cars. Luxury I wish cars. I had a uh, better or, I don't know, um, how could I say? I wish I could have a good skills, for example, English one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, good, very good, Sullivan. Uh, what about? Let's say, what about your uh, bedroom? Uh, do you wish that your bedroom were bigger or that it had more windows or something like that? <laughs> mm, I wish my bedroom uh, had. Uh, Noisy reduction to Noise sleep reduction. all night. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Sullivan. Thank you. I appreciate that. Very good job. Okay, vamos ahora con Fran. Hi, teacher. Hi, Fran. Go ahead. Okay, I wish uh, <clears throat> I wish I had a, a better car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Vamos a ir anotando acá, perdón, Frank. Voy a ir anotando, así como siempre hacemos. So I wish. Perdón que se me, se me fue. Vamos a ver. Aquí está. I wish I had, I had a better car. A better okay, car. Uh -huh. I wish uh, my house were uh, bigger. Bigger, okay, very good. Yes, nice. Um, I wish I wish I I were uh, uh, tall, taller. Wish I were taller. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, do you have any other example or? Only those three examples. Only that. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Fran. What about the rest, guys? Anybody else that would like to participate? Creo que tenemos a Manuel Fernando ahora. Very good. I, I wish I had computer skills. Computer skills, okay, good. Yeah. What about this? We can say something like, I wish I knew how to program computers. That would be a good option, I think. I wish I knew. Si se fijan, aquí estamos utilizando otros verbos, ¿verdad? Se puede utilizar eh, otro tipo de verbos también. Siempre y cuando los coloquemos acá en el pasado. Eso es todo. Or, or pueden decir ustedes, por ejemplo, I wish I lived in Europe, por ejemplo. Ok, estamos utilizando el verbo vivir, pero en pasado. Ok, Des, sería como que desearía vivir en Europa. No vivo en Europa, ¿verdad? 
¿Qué otros ejemplos podemos dar, guys? I wish I sleep. ¿Cuál es el pasado de, de, de um, slept? El pasado slept. Uh -huh. So I wish I slept more, more time. More. <laughs> all night I, long. In the early morning. <laughs> I wish I slept all night long. This is. Yeah. This is <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is good. Yes, I can imagine that. That you guys probably you guys are really busy, so probably you don't you don't have the chance to sleep as much as you would like. So I wish I slept all night, all night long. Sleep. Okay, muy bien. Entonces, si se fijan, podemos utilizar otro verbo, ¿verdad? Tenemos muchas opciones. También lo podemos hacer eh, de una forma, eh, digamos, negativa. Por ejemplo, pudiéramos decir I wish I didn't have to stay awake all night. Desearía no tener que permanecer despierto toda la noche o quedarme despierto toda la noche. Vamos a ver acá. I wish I traveled to Spain. Ok, muy bien. I wish I traveled. Vamos a ver por acá. Me mandó eh, Francisco Antonio. I wish I traveled to Spain. Me too. I would like to go to Spain. Entonces, eh, right. would be great, yes. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Bueno, entonces aquí tenemos varios ejemplos, guys. Solamente quería mostrarles que tenemos eh, bastantes opciones, ¿verdad? No nos vamos a limitar solamente con las mismas que están acá. Muchas, muchas opciones. Eh, si ya las tienen, entonces vamos a hacer una cosa final antes de que se termine la clase. Por acá, al inicio de la, del video, hay como una conversación entre dos personas acerca de esto. Entonces la vamos a escuchar y quiero que ustedes me digan qué es lo que pudieron eh, captar de la conversación. Va a ser nuestra práctica de listening, ¿ok? Si se fijan acá, bueno, eh, no, no está acá. Vamos a escucharlo. Escuchemos la conversación y luego quiero que ustedes me cuenten qué es lo que dicen en esa conversación. Hello everyone. By the end of this class you'll... Vamos a ver aquí, por aquí está. Your task is to listen carefully and Escuchemos, guys. questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah. Parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting this structure. Bueno, the guys, vamos a escucharlo like... una vez más. I wish I had my... Vamos a darle un poquito para atrás aquí. Vamos a escuchar otra vez y después quiero que ustedes me cuenten. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. 
I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Vaya, ok, vamos a ver qué pudieron ustedes captar, guys. Cuéntenme. Please tell me, guys, what did you, what did you hear in their conversation? What were they saying? What kind of things they said? Parece que busca mm -hmm. un nuevo apartamento porque se preocupa mucho por él. Mm -hmm. y, okay. No entonces, mm -hmm. ¿cómo sería entonces en inglés, Mr. Ramírez? Wow. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we can say that he's looking for uh, a new apartment, right? I, uh, I wish a new apartment because my family is, is worrying. It's too much worrying about mm -hmm. me. Ok. Básicamente sería eh, muy bien, muy bien. Este básicamente sería como lo que dice más adelante por aquí. Acá. My parents won't stop worrying about me. Ok. Mis, mis padres no dejan de preocuparse por mí. Quieren que esté en la casa, dice, antes de la medianoche. Entonces eso no le gusta. Ok, muy bien, Mr. Ramirez. Thank you so much. All right. What about the rest? What did they say? Teacher. Sí, yes. Terry, Terry wish he could move out. He wishes that he could move out. Right, that is correct. He wishes that he could move out. I don't think they are making a plan to be roommate. So, okay, they can live together and don't have this type of issue, right? So, I am think mm -hmm. it's the idea that that's why they are um, arguing about that. Yes, actually, one of them uh, is suggesting that they could be roommates. Yes, <laughs> but the other person doesn't seem to be really convinced about that. Correct. So, como dice Sullivan, eh, uno de ellos eh, sugiere que pudieran vivir juntos. Le dice, pudiéramos mudarnos y tal vez eh, incluso ser eh, compañeros de cuarto. Pero el otro no suena muy convencido. Dice, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Es como que tal vez, tal vez sí, pero no, no estoy tan convencido. Ya van a ver, por aquí se lo voy a poner, solo al final. Thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh... Maybe. <laughs> Escucharon, es como que, yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> Ahí te aviso, le digo. <laughs> It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea, yes. <laughs> he's not sure about it. Yes, he's not sure about it, yes. He's not. Entonces, eh, básicamente de eso están hablando, ¿verdad? Bueno, muy bien, guys. Este... Eh, entonces creo que aquí nos vamos a quedar por ahora. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta hasta el momento acerca del tema. Alguna duda, inquietud. Eso era lo que íbamos a ver para el día de hoy. Acerca de cómo expresar deseos acerca de cosas de, del presente, ¿verdad? Entonces solamente recapitulando, era acerca de algo que sucede en el presente, pero que nosotros desearíamos eh, que fuera de otra forma, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo vivo con mis padres. Yo desearía no vivir con mis padres. Es como lo opuesto, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ¿alguna pregunta, guys? No, no question, question, teacher. No question. Very good. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Sullivan. No okay, very, very good. Thank you, Mr. Ramirez. All right, so, guys, uh, thank you so much for coming one more time. I appreciate your time, guys, and I hope that you have a great evening, and I will see you back 
tomorrow, okay? Thank you, See you teacher. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Let's see tomorrow.